Welcome back to World of Warships Legends with Red Sorax, and I'm sorry it's been a while, but today we're going to watch a viewer replay in the Cleveland as we watch the world burn again. Today we're watching We Womp in the Tier 7 Cleveland. I don't have his commander set up or his ship build, but this is going to be a game replay. And if you're interested in having your game broadcast and edited by me, go ahead and send it in in the links below. And of course, this is what will happen. I'll make you famous. Now, in the email that accompanied this, uh, we want stated that this is his favorite ship. He loves the American cruisers and the light cruisers especially, at least till he gets his hands on the. Wooster now that it's out for rental, but uh, once he gets the Wooster in the game, he's really gonna love that. After watching this game, I decided to post it as the proper way to play the light cruisers, the American light cruisers. British light cruisers, you have smoke. Some of the Russians, you have smoke. And you uh, have the ability to conceal yourself in open water. The Americans, you've really got to work the edges of these islands, and We Womp has this ability better than I have. He has it better than most people have by watching this gameplay. And as you can see, he's come up to the edge of this island now, and he's waiting. Unfortunately, the only destroyer um, that is going to move up is over by the A cap. Right now, the one behind him isn't moving up. But he does have Fiji spotted, and he's not spotted, so he takes one speculative shot out at him. And right off the bat, he starts a fire. <laughs> Hence why the title of the video is Let's Watch the World Burn. <laughs> so his second salvo on the Fiji sets another fire. Now that one's going to stick because the Fiji put the first one out immediately. And that's not... A really bad thing to do in the Fiji because it's not a battleship it can't absorb fires like a battleship can so now he's resetting the base which is good a little off on that last salvo but he's there they're working this Fiji down the Fiji overextended he's about to get wiped off the map and there he goes so now we've got Vladivostok ahead and he's gonna creep up and again you notice he backed up as the Fiji came out and spotted him and now he's creeping out and he's using the islands in between him and the Vlad he's got double set of islands here he can't be spotted and he's getting his fire going over the islands first salvo landed with a double fire on the Vladivostok and of course the Vlad he's gonna put that out he would if he had any sense one fire you can repair back all the damage from for the most part depending on the nation depending on your setup you can feel back at all if not more but two fires you're taking too much damage so now he's back on the vladdy and he's going to just drop them in there and these are just speculative as you can notice he can't really tell the exact height but if you see scoring every time here getting some getting some shells to drop in and these are the, and there he goes he's got another fire burning <laughs> this is just the beginning of the fire fest people he's like an absolute venereal disease it he's gonna let it burn with every drip <laughs> I'm gonna say that these are the six inch shells and as they drop in they'll have the ability to do more damage dropping down and in and again with the American shells they do arc and drop almost straight down so you're gonna hit the deck armor a lot easier you're gonna get more penetrations with the chance of more fires and again I don't know his setup I, I can't tell you if he what his perks are or anything like that but obviously he's doing he's got it set up right now if you notice he's gonna pull out some now he's not firing here because if he would have fired, the Leon would have spotted him because he was in that gap and the Leon could spot him from there. So he's going to pull up behind the next island, get a little more angle in here, and now he's undetected because he's, he's hidden behind an island. So he's going to get some more damage in when never getting spotted. 
and he's doing it right. Now he's backing up, getting more of his guns to bear because the Leon has now pulled around a nether island. So he can get all his guns to bear, show up some more, and since the Poltava is just sitting there in open water, he's going to get free shots dropping in. Now I can see the smokestacks on the Potava starting to billow up, so he's going to start backing up here, and you can see he starts aiming behind him, going ahead and preemptively get the shots in the right direction. And he's got an excellent angle here, so it, all his shells will disperse out and onto him. And he's getting quite a few dropping in there. He's doing quite well. Might be a little short, but the length of it, if you notice, he's just getting them all. Now he's a little high there. <laughs> he's going to get them in, and he's going to punish this guy for making a mistake. And there's another fire. And, of course, being a Russian battleship, he has the ability to heal faster or repair faster. So he's, pro he's already healed up that or repaired that, so he's not burning it. But if he catches another fire here... He won't be able to heal for at least 30 seconds. And there's another fire. So that one's going to burn away for at least 30 seconds. The Russians have the ability to heal faster and get their repairs going faster than any other nation, but they have a limited amount of them. They only get four with the right setups. And he's burning away, and he'll, he could repair that probably in the next 10, 15 seconds. Looks like he already healed it. He already repaired it. Yeah, he's already repaired. So now, if we set another fire again, and he's now being spotted, I'm assuming, by the Leon to his right. If he sets another fire again now, we're going to have a perma fire. Yep, it's the Leon spotting him. And if you look at the ship, he's playing the Cleveland. He's got the Murka paint job on it. <laughs> He's all about that America paint job. <laughs> so we are backing up here. Again, he's putting him, the island between himself and Leon. So now he's not spotted and he's getting these free shots. I hate when somebody does this to me and they can hide this well. And you know the shots are coming in. You can see where the shots are coming from, but you have no idea where he's at. You can't return. And he's giving full broadside here. And he'd get deleted if the Leon, Leon could get onto him. So he's pulling back forward to keep the island between the Leon and him. And there he goes. He's taking out the Leon. Poltava has disappeared, so he's going to go ahead and work on the Vladivostok. Now he's spotted through that gap right there. But the Vladi was already aiming at somebody else. A little more lead. We need a little more lead. That Vladi was really cooking along in the water. Now he's dropping his shells right on him. And he's unspotted again because he's got the island protection. He gets another fire. He is up to nine fires now. And that's just the tip. <laughs> just the tip of the iceberg. Now he's spotted here for a second. And, yep, the other battleship just took the shot at him. And, and being Russian, he wasn't going to hit much. But the Vladdy's already pre-aimed. You can see his turrets lined up on him. He gets the shot off the Vladdy, and he noses in to cut down, and there's his first kill. And missed everything by the Vladdy. Now he's up in the islands again, and there's a smoke screen protecting him. So he is good now with concealment. And another fire. And you wonder why, people wonder why Wargaming went and nerfed the ability to set fires with equilibrium of fire and they gave us the new captain's perk of not being able to set more than three fires on a ship or not being able to take any more damage when three fires are on a ship <laughs> and that it's a reason right there there's another fire on, on him so he is now going to focus this this gentleman down we've got multiple ships focusing on him and the Alabama, now I'm going to show you here in a second. The Alabama's AFK. And he's going to do something cheeky with the Alabama. And I don't blame him. Um, we've played World of Tanks together. And we've played World of Warships together. And I do get nervous about AFK ships. Or AFK tanks. Or AFK players in general. 
Now, some would say he should focus on the shit that's alive. I think he was just trying to get a couple fires on here. And, I mean, it was really on low health. There was another ship already firing at him. He burned up there. Now he's just going to focus on the Alabama. He's going to get multiple fires going on this Alabama. He's going to just pad up some skill. Now, some people would say he should focus on other ships, but at any time this Alabama could come back in. I've been knocked out in a game by my internet dropping signal strength and gotten right back in within 90 seconds to two minutes. So you've got a ship, a potentially damaging ship with an Alabama like that. I, I see no reason not to focus on him. Now he's not spotted. He's no longer in smoke. Now there's the high caliber. And he's still going to town on him. Now he's spotted. And I don't know why a second ago he wasn't spotted unless there must have been a little smoke between he and the Alabama. But again, the Alabama's AFK, and if you look on the other on the mini map, there's islands protecting him from other ships. So he's just burning this old booger down. I'm surprised in all honesty that he doesn't get the witherer on this. But he is doing a lot of actual HE damage, the impact damage, so he didn't let it burn enough. But you know, to be is to be. So he just got some shots put at him, and he still didn't get hit. Now he ignores the Alabama, and it burns away. So we're, he's going to go ahead and throw some shells out here at the Baltimore. He's got a Baltimore and a Wichita, and he sets another fire on a, on a ship. Baltimore obviously puts that out. And they're running uh, together away. So he's going to cut them off. There's a battleship from behind him pushing up, so they're trying to get away from the battleship. Now, I would have probably loaded the AP right here and preemptively had it ready, but he does change to it after the first salvo once he sees how they're angled on him. And there's our first look at the mini-map. <laughs> Just taking a quick look, see what he had left. So we're going to come out around this edge, and he's going to there, and there's the shots out at another battleship. He still has the HE, and like I say, he's going to fire the HE out of the guns. And there goes the salvo, and now he's on the AP. He's got a flat broadside, he sets a fire. He's got a flat broadside Wichita, and he gets some shots in there. There goes the Confederate, and he gets another salvo in there, and one more salvo, and the last salvo should get him. Yep, with a Citadel, and now he has the Baltimore, and he already has the AP loaded, and wow, that's nice damage right there. One more salvo, and whoo, look at that, and he barely takes any damage. He does get set on fire there, but he can put that out. He's got plenty of health. He could have let it burn, he could have healed it back, or he could have just kept going. <laughs> And that was well played. He worked those islands like a master. Ooh, we've been spotted. So there, there has to be a destroyer out here. And he pops a sonar. Sonar up. Looking for torpedoes. And this Kagero should have run for the wind. Because now he is facing a radar cruiser. There go torpedoes that direction. He's pretty sure he's in front of him. He pops the radar. And there's the Kagero. And the Kagero's not paying attention. He's running straight for an island. And he's only getting the front two guns uh, fired at him because he was expecting possibly torpedoes. There goes the Kagero's engines. I don't know if he repairs, but he's still going to run right into that island ahead of him. And the salvo out. One more, and he disappears. Come back into view here in a second. And for the kill. Release the Kraken! And I hope you enjoyed that part of it. And he got 184,975 with a Confederate, high caliber, and Kraken. Made 5,000 XP, 3,341, top of the leaderboard with the five kills. 
And let's see how he does on credits. He ended up making 344,000 credits. He was flying a one-star credit flag. And I hope you people enjoyed this. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye.